the captain uh, behind the ball, Dennis uh, Corsa. Three man well formed by Liberty Professionals. The options are there for a Busian Dwarfs. Are they going to go by the height? Header is on, but it goes over the. Ebusian Dwarfs. And as you reckon, 25% of the uh, capacity allowed into the stadium. And so they're here watching the game. First shot is blocked. Cross comes to the near side from the far side from Captain uh, Corsa. Simon Marty. That's a Liberty Professionals player down. Uh, this is Captain for Ebusian Dwarfs. Coming forward slowly, Corsa. Corsa goes down, and referee will give the free kick advantage to Ebusia Dwarves. Great play from Corsa. Prince, he was turning, he was trying to just create an opening. There he was, he did, but he was brought down by number 19. He's on a yellow card, we should say. Um, Ahmed Sata. Free kick. It's floated in by a captain. And headed out. Uh, Albert comes forward, finds captain, good skill, but can he use the right? Dennis Nkrumah Corsa showing a little bit of the dexterity he has on the ball, controlled nicely with the left foot, delivered with the right foot. That was good enough. The professionals are trying so very hard to sell that to us. But it's the first 45 minutes. If he can carry Dwarfs on his shoulders, surely Dwarfs. Well, obviously, we will live to see. <laughs> Kofi Ban says he's ready. Long cross into the 18 yard box. That's deep. Uh, Liberty professionals would have to do well to clear out goalkeeper. 71 minutes gone. Dwarfs will be bringing on some fresh limbs as well. Cross into the 18 yard box. Liberty professionals all stood ball watching. Shot is on target. Moro has worked quite hard in the first half and he's continuing from where he left off in the second. Surely he has worked his socks off. He's been tirelessly up front. The Berry Ladies. Yes, I've heard yes. a lot about them. Coached by the coach of the Black Queens. The Black Queens. Mercy Tego Kwaku. Yeah. Good skill by Dennis. Still going strong. Still going. And referee. Sends in a cross, but not the best. Picked up by uh, Dennis. Battle for the ball in midfield is picked up nicely by Ibushian Dwarfs as they tear away on the uh, far side. And I, Corsa. Now can he get a decent cross? And it's picked up by Captain Dennis. Gets in the cross. And Corsa have been very, very instrumental in creating and setting up goals for the Swadra from the left side. We see the, the, the in swinger again. And this time around, Elia a shade late for Imoro to cool that ball for Abalora. But the Black Star. Corsa picks it up in midfield, twisting and turning. Swadra dwarfs in the cross. Not the best of crosses. And uh, draws Captain Dennis Corsa. Pushes it on. Now Moro goes into the 18 yard box to find uh, space. Cross was a bit too strong from Captain. Dwarfs have beaten inter allies, Liberty professionals, and uh, Legon cities on the road. So they could probably cause an upset here. It's full of tricks. Dennis with the drive. Straight oh, goal. Spoke about this earlier on. He was just looking for the opportunity for the trademark drive. And there it is! My word, Prince. What a bullet of a shot. And Dennis Corsa have put in drafts ahead here at the Lane Clay Stadium. See, we see the striker again. First, that back flick pass from Mate. And that, that bullet. And Razaka Balora completely beaten. He's shell shocked. My word. The technique, the strike. Genius from Dennis Corsa. 25 minutes gone in the first half. Kotokon nailed Dwarfs 1. Dennis Corsa getting his name on the score sheet. We see it again. And Razak rooted. He was in Wonderland. And rich history. Don't forget the heaviest scoreline 
Dwarves have suffered is a 12-1 defeat. And guess who scored? Kumasi Asante Kotoko beat them on that day. <laughs> this is a layer. Dennis Corsa picks it up from them. Good backflip. Please have. Corsa says thank you very much. And away come Dwarves. Threads the pass through to Simon. Poor shot by Simon. They have looked very, very good for drafts all season. Slowly but surely, they come forward. Three. Good save by Isa this time around. And a cautious clearance by that courageous captain, Dennis Corsa. But it was a great save from Isa Razak, redeeming himself from that howler. Gamma has had quite a good game with those sterling passes. Goes round his marker nicely, sets up the pass. Again, a chance is blown. Beautiful 10. Oh, and Jeffy will look for Osman here. And Osman couldn't hit the target once again. Do also have about 10 minutes. Barring any time added on, Corsa waits on the near side. Traveling around, but he loves his football. Well, tell him to get a start time decoder and I'll his journey will be short. I'll get one for him. Christopher Netti. Three minutes plus time added on, and it would all be over here. Let's see how dwarves push forward. Let's see how Kotoko maintain their composure. So it's a free kick to Ebusua Dwarfs here at the Lenclair Stadium. It will be Kosa. Kosa with a long kick and Miss Q from Salifu is being cleared out of the game with that two goals ball has been cleared out still drafts will come at Kotoko again Kosa the strikers but here comes Dennis Kosa the captain delivers deep into Hazelbrook territory and Leah is interested yes he gets the ball he has a booker to beat Larry and Kruma Kosa will try a shot no problem, sorry to that time. Who is going to get onto that one? But I mean, it's it's a story right here that Dwarfs are not here to sit back and on them. But to get the first goal of the game, it should settle a lot of nerves. It should settle a lot of you know pressure that was on the team prior to the fixture. It should get them to hit their groove even the more. And now Dwarfs will have to change this game. Moro Smiler, Dennis Kosa, back to Moro. Beautiful skill from the captain, Dennis Kosa. Be a clearance or back to his player. And that is what they need to do. They need to get closer to these out of players who are at the moment enjoying freedom and space. So much time on the ball as well. Here is Moro. Yeah, Kosa skip past his man as he was in there, but Larry was quickly across him to cut the ball out. Samoa. Dennis Kosa. Elia is fouled by Kosa delivers. Here is Mike, it's to advantage, but this time, Imano Anafo gets it right. Yeah, great defending, he had to be spot on. Andre is so tricky. He's got the pace about him as well. Larry, against Corsa. He's fouled by Corsa, three moments, I thought he had lost the ball. Right here, I thought he had lost it, but he still manages to get something on the Easy catch for Isa Razak from that Obin Junior effort. Samoa steps up. Oh, 
beautiful pass from Manav to Razak. But Dennis Kosa, Galan defending from the captain. Defending there. Good build up from Abusion Dwarves. Moro. Dennis Kosa. Both so well, they look impressive. Oh, beautiful play! Corsas cross in, nobody to the end of it for Ebusuna Dwarves. The narrative of this half, you know, it's, it's, it's Dwarves that are asking all the questions. Are the Clever way to win the ball, Patrick Rozak. He's up against Dennis Corsa and the captain cleverly wins the ball back. He just caught the face of Patrick Rozak. Flag stays down. Ben Aqua. He goes past Larry Sumaila. But hey, Ben Aqua. Again, he goes past Larry Sumaila. Here is Aqua. The team, and that is the first one. Good run, good timing of his run. Lovely skill to go past Larry Smiler. The first time anybody has gone past him in the game, but it's of the game for almost two minutes. I'm not sure why they're not ready in somebody to take his place. Absolutely. And it's, it's, it's very clear and obvious, man. It's yeah, he's an important player for them. Okay, so they are ready to back to the game very soon, and it's not. Any serious than a cut. Will do him a lot of good. And most importantly, bring Ebusia Dwarfs back on level pegging. And Kuma Crosser scores. And Ebusia Dwarfs have equalized. It's 2 2. Hey, they say. They don't lose in Accra anytime they've made that trip from Cape Coast to Accra. Yeah, their records here are good. And come on, the, our, come on the man, the skipper, stepping up the, all the pressure on his shoulders. But shake that pressure off and hit that into the back of the net is what he did. And if they've deserved it, it's no more than they've deserved. They've been the better side in the second half. And they have a goal to show for it. And started the second strongly as well. And here they are too. From 2-0 down to 2 all. With some 13 minutes to go. Poor cross from Ansamble Chain. Yeah, and with the way they have some played in this in this second half, I'm sure they'll be tempted to want to if that has to leave behind when they flat forward. You know, that substitution. Qua. Yes, finally he's in his elements. You expect more trickery from him. Aqua. There he go again. Corsa, Asamoa, the two Asamoas are now gelling, and then Ben Aqua is regaining his form again, so Isa Razak also took some of the minutes of the 90. Absolutely. That explains. Their need of something special to hand them the maximum three points. Corner is quickly taken. Dennis Costa with a low cross in and Saboche 